This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash Skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Oh man, it is windy. Um, yeah, I apologize for the noise in the background. Can't do much about that. Yeah, it's blowing. Uh, it's chilly out. It's going to be a little bit of rain. Um, and I've fished about 45 minutes and I've got nothing. I'm just about to leave. But it's a matter of a few feet and I'm working this rip and I'm just about to find out what part of the rip these fish are holding in. And it's a narrow slice. All right, it's an ounce and a half bucktail. It's a uh, SNS John Skinner bass bucktail. It's got the hackle feathers in it, pretty densely tied. Um, the rod's the nine foot two dark matter Skinner rod. Boy, with this wind on my back, I feel like I can hit that island out there. So look, uh, I'm just letting it settle, and uh, I'll say much more about the retrieve in a bit. A lot of these hits are coming on the drop. I just spent 45 minutes fishing for nothing, but I think I got them. Now I think I know where they are. There we go. I think they're right in there. Come on. Yeah, I just dragged a line on the beach uh, a couple of casts ago as a reference point because it's just in such a narrow slice of water. So mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. just Nothing rechecking like where exactly I was standing in case I moved a little bit. Um, so I'm just trying to make adjustments on this. So I'm, I'm going to get zeroed in on these, but it's, there's just, um, you know, 20 feet either way, you're, you're not going to get them. didn't have the right part of the rip. And now I got him dialed in. Thank you. 
Ah, you bum. There he is. Got him in there good. I think this is going to be four on five cast. If this is a blue, he's really shaking. Yep, that's what I'm feeling on the way down. Note there's no retrieve here, I'm just letting it settle, stay in contact, I'm not cranking. There he is. Got him on the drop. As usual, the barb is crushed, so uh, I can shake most of those fish off. And the ones that I can't shake, the, the hook comes right out. that I didn't get them. It was more of a straight cast.
think I saw this when I spot locked on the weak fish. I'm going to be right on top of them. I'm not moving, but then they would slide around. So maybe with the decreasing current, these slid slightly up current. Uh, nothing big, but these last two are slightly larger. So I think I've got 15 or 20 feet of water out there. I'm not really sure. Um, the number's not that important. I'm, I'm just keeping contact in the beginning while the jig is settling. And yeah, it's a bulky jig, a lot of hair, hackle feathers. Takes some time to get down. If I feel it get down, then I'm going to snap it up off the bottom and then take a couple of cranks and just try to keep it gliding along the bottom. There we go. Lift it, crank a little bit, just try to keep it up. There we go. It just moves like 20 feet. Some of my favorite kind of fishing here, you know, nothing showing. And uh, <laughs> I spent 45 minutes pr pretty much on this and uh, you know, really had to get on the spot. But once you get on them, get them figured out, it's great. Well, I had nothing like forecasts in a row. I'm in forecast. Right, I edited out uh, a couple of casts there. I mean, pretty boring to just throw and, and retrieve. Um, but yeah, they're just, you know, like I said, narrow slice of water. Yeah, spurty action there. Um, yeah, obviously it's a decent sized school because you'll notice that when I get them, uh, it's not uncommon to get multiple hits. I mean, I've got you know belly in the line from this wind, so uh, you know I might not hook them up the first time, but when they hit, <laughs> they're gonna hit until I, I hook one. So they're just moving around.
Maybe there's a slot fish. Ooh, it's almost over slot. Yeah. Look at that, see? Just comes right out with no barb. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the biggest one I got, and let's wrap it up there. I mean, there a bunch more fish after this, but what a, what a great bite. Perfect bass weather. So. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, Please subscribe and hit that notification bell and check out my online courses at saltstrong.com slash skinner.